Hi, everybody. I'm Paulo Trellis. Um, uh, this is my last semester here at the Academy of Art, and um, my focus is in uh, designing games. So um, I'm here to present to you my game, The Exile. So to begin, I'd like to, to imagine a large, beautiful sci-fi city in a world filled with 2D and 3D art. Now, while you're picturing that, imagine running away from the bomb that's about to destroy this entire city. My game follows the story of a character who's been exiled from her planet, and she's returned to this war-torn planet to uh, try and defuse this bomb from destroying the city. However, she's failed at defusing this bomb, so now she must escape, run back to her ship, and get the hell off the planet. My game is an endless runner uh, with platform elements. It's 2D side-scroller, and um, you'll be endlessly running through five levels, each level with the preset layout, and you'll be using these three basic mechanics, jump, shoot, and slide. You'll be using these three mechanics to survive and avoid obstacles and maneuver whatever way you can through each level to make it to the end to get back to your ship. Um, however, this game is going to be really challenging because if you run into anything or die, you have to go back to the very beginning of the game, the level, I'm sorry, to um, finish the level up. Uh, I got some inspiration from games such as The Impossible Game, Vector, and Cannibal. Um, I want to make the game difficult like The Impossible Game, but not at that level exactly. I want it to be fun and exi exciting like Vector and intense like Cannibal. I want this game to be intense from beginning to end. Um, um, the character you're going to be using to run through these levels is a female sci-fi character who wears a hooded cloak, light armor, um, interface visor and mask. I took a lot of reference from The Hunter from Destiny because that was the closest thing I could find to the character I idealized in my head. Tally Zora also made it into cut. And um, you're going to be using this character to run through everything. She's supposed to be a rogue, exile type of look. Now the visual layers to this game are going to be broken down like this. The play field will be all 3D models. The foreground will be a combination of 2D and 3D art. And the background will be all 2D illustrations. I chose this combination of art because I want to create a different variety of artistic elements to make this game really pop. Now, because the background is going to be 2D illustrated, we can imagine a large, beautiful city, and there's not really any limitation on it since it's not 3D. So I got some references from Coruscant, Narshada, Presidium, and the Citadel to help inspire what the city may begin to look like. This game will have moving comic, moving comic cutscenes. Uh, this is Fantasy Star Universe Shadow of the Art Guard. Got my inspiration from that. Uh, moving comic is a digital comic with still images that move. And I chose this once again because I want to have this game have like a diversity of different elements artistically. My project goal is to release this on mobile and PC with a one to two semester goal before we can publish to the market. I've taken a handful of collabs here at the Academy and never have been able to see an end product. So I'd like to, I created this game in the thought that I want to make something that everybody that starts a product can see it finish. Of course, we're limited to time and resources because it is just a class, but I encourage anybody to join this to be as passionate for this game as I am. This is the minimum of personnel needed, but of course all are welcome to join. The more people we have, the better chances we have of finishing the game on time. And if we finish early, we always have uh, time for extra content. And that was my game, the Exile. Thanks for your time. Awesome. <laughs> that looks great. Um, are there any questions? Cue up at the microphone. I always have a lot of questions. So. Two out of the three of your references have randomized levels, but you you were talking about having hand-designed levels. Yeah, so, just preset ones. OK, so then how are you going to balance replayability and difficulty? Because the one reference you do have that's hand-designed the impossible game, you described as being too hard. Right, uh, so that game is extremely difficult. I don't plan to make this game nearly as difficult, but I do want it to be challenging to the point where you have to replay it various times just to even finish one level. Um, for playability, those games I reference are very intense from every moment that you're sitting there playing it. 
that's kind of what I enjoy about those games is that they're intense from the second you sit down to the second you stop playing. And frankly, I just I can replay those games a lot because I enjoy the intense feeling. I hope others can feel that same way. This might be a question about collabs in general, but the first thing you said is that you're in your last semester. Yeah. Uh, so how does a class next fall work with that? Thank you. So even though I graduate, if this gets approved, I am actually um, being given the green light to actually come back and be a designer on the project. Not as a student, but as a just a designer, I guess. <laughs> It's actually fairly often that we have people who are outside come in and help out on the collabs. Um, obviously, they don't, there's not a credit involved or anything like that, but people do come in and they help out. And some people who graduate and their thing is still going on, they'll come back and do it as well. Did you have anything to add to that? Or what was that? That's the other thing. Yeah, they don't necessarily take two semesters to complete the game either. Hi, how's it going? Um, so you said you wanted to release for mobile and PC, and you're thinking of doing it at the same time. So can you just touch on the differences between those two versions, if there are any? Um, well, for mobile, it would have to be, uh, well, obviously, on-screen buttons to um, help you just do the three basic mechanics, jump, shoot, and slide. Uh, for PC, it would just be three keys that fit best for the game. OK, thank you. Uh, can I ask you a question? Uh, when is your release date, like a target? Um, well, depending on when we start, it would be one to two semesters. Um, I've, like I said, I've been in a lot of collabs, and usually the game never gets finished because we aim too high. And I made this game in the thought that it's small scale and it could be done within two semesters if we have the right team. OK, thank you. Uh, so the comic cutscenes look, look kind of interesting, but the art style is significantly different from everything else that you've shown. Uh, is the game going to have a comic cutscene kind of look, or are those going to be two separate kind of looks? Well, at the moment, there's no actual art. I just reference a bunch of stuff. So if this game happens, everything would have to be unified into one set art style. Great. Anything else? All right. Let's hear it. Thank you, everyone. Great job.